By 1855, there was a monthly stagecoach service, St. Louis, Missouri, to Oregon and California. 2,700 miles in 25 days. It was a terrible trip. One traveler wrote, Almost four weeks of kidney jolting and bone cracking. Indians on the hill, bandits in the bushes. Read about it. Don't try it. But Americans wanted their country to stretch as far as the Pacific Ocean. It would take more than stagecoaches to do that. So Congress decided there must be a transcontinental railroad. One company, the Union Pacific, would begin in Omaha, Nebraska, while the Central Pacific would start in Sacramento, California. They would meet somewhere in between. It was a giant task. Never before had a railroad been built across 2,000 miles of wilderness. Everything had to be hauled more than 1,000 miles to where it was needed. The Union Pacific workers were Civil War veterans or new immigrants, mostly from Ireland. They were paid $2.50 a day in food. They worked 72 hours a week. After a year, they were across Nebraska, and a thousand miles of wilderness still lay ahead. 